Hi, my name is Clinton. I'm here for the Tulip Festival Virtual Garden Tour, and I'm going to take you around and we're going to talk about tulips and some of the varieties I like, and we're going to learn some facts, and since you can't be here with us, we're going to, we're going to show it to you. So are some of my favorites of the 20,000 that we planted, and it's a big undertaking. We start it in we plant them all before the frost in late October and early November. And so we get all the bulbs in and we, we process them and sort them. And we have a whole plan here where to try to make like some kind of pattern where I try to sort the more traditional ones between. So it's like we have something that's kind of crazy, then it's something that's pretty classic and then something muted and then something bright and so I try to just have everything kind of flow into each other so that it makes like the most impact. We'll start right here. You probably noticed uh, our largest tulip in the garden and this is built out of eastern red cedar. We built it last year because this is the first time, this is the second time that tulips have been in this garden this time of year because normally this would all be empty before we planted the show garden and we did it last year for the 150th anniversary and it was an overwhelmingly positive response so we did it again and here's our centerpiece and like I said it's built out of cedar and it was built by Cody Clausen who's the senior rustic carpenter and uh, my brother and so uh, we called it a favor between departments to get you know nice beautiful tulip centerpiece here's a variety right here that I really like and I the same as in this bed over here um, it's called the lily mix and I used a lot of different mixes this year instead of solid beds of just one type of tulip. And I thought it looked more like a celebration. It's a big, beautiful, tons of color, almost like confetti. And the cool thing about this is you get, they kind of pop up at different times. So you get lots of different textures and then different shaped tulips. This is my favorite one in this mix here. and. It's called the lily mix because they, they resemble uh, more traditional lilies, but tulips are actually in the lily family. Uh, there's thousands of flowers that are in the lily family. It's thousands of plants. Uh, tulips are one of them and they're one of our favorites. Here's another cool mix. I like these a lot. These will start to open up and be bigger too. Um, our tulips are kind of late this year because uh, of the cold weather, but we're a little later than the rest of New York, or at least lower New York anyway, because we kind of have a pocket climate up here in the Schwangunks. So even down in the valley towards New Paltz and Gardner, and especially down towards the city, uh, most of the tulips are done or close to done. And you know, up here in the mountains, it's a little slower. <laughs> uh, but these are called, these are called the peony mix and they're just like big showy tulips. They're kind of what, not a traditional looking tulip that you would expect. And I like to mix that in with the more traditional ones. You kind of see these here, it's a pretty classic looking tulip until you get closer to it. And this is, this is uh, called honeymoon, but it's a, it's a fringe tulip and they're really interesting because they're they're like frayed on the end and you know, I really like them. Here's another one. A lot of people have been asking about. Um, it's called Sonata Blue. And you'll notice that it's not really blue. And you know, you occasionally will get a true blue in the plant world, but it's pretty rare. So most of them are either very dark reds or deeper purples that, you know, they look blue in a certain lighting, but really not blue. Here are some of my favorites. They're called the Rembrandt mix. And if you'll notice here, uh, 
They also are the deer's favorites. And we do a lot of protection up here to keep the deer from destroying things that they like to eat. And one of the things they really like to eat are the buds of tulips that have recently popped out of the ground. And especially in late winter and early spring, that is their favorite food. And so one of the precautions we take up until right when they're appearing and starting to bloom, we have deer fencing up around all of this. Or otherwise we would be looking at an entire garden that looks just like that. And that's not what anybody wants. So uh, that's one, that's our first precaution. Our second precaution is we do go around periodically and we use a deer repellent that we spray all of the tulips with. And as you can see, it mostly works, but the deer, they're pretty resilient. So we do what we can to stop it, but it, you know, we, you get a little, little bit of damage anyway. Uh, this variety is very cool. Uh, like I said, it's called Rembrandt mix. And what's interesting to me is you get the two colors in all of the, the, the Rembrandt varieties of tulips. And you kind of, what's cool about them is you don't really know what you're going to get. So you get some of these that get just a smattering of a different color. And then you get some of them where it almost takes over the entire tulip. And I just find that interesting. It's exciting. You some of these varieties they're they're all cool they're all beautiful and these are almost a surprise every time and i like that a lot we'll go to a tulip that's almost completely opposite of that so these are called rodeo drive and the cool thing about them is that they're not they don't have anything that sets them apart from being a super notable tulip other than they're probably, they're one of the most classic looking tulips that you can find. It's almost like you had someone draw a picture of their idea of a tulip. So you gotta have the weird ones and the classic ones kind of all mixed in together. Here's some more of the frilled ones and they have a little bit of that variegation that you saw in the Rembrandt as well. And these are called fancy frills. Uh, <laughs> And I think what's cool about them is like, they're, I mean, they're, it's not a very clever name, but the cool thing about it is they're pink and beautiful and they're very clearly fringed. And then the leaves also kind of take on like a frilliness to it as well. And I, I think they're cool. I think they're, they're pretty long. This is another uh, less traditional, traditional one. These are called Magic Carpet Mix, and they just, it's a very textured and different varieties like mixed in together. And it's just, it makes a very, it, it's very striking and, and strange and, and cool to me. It's gorgeous. <laughs> These are kind of at their end, but you can just see how vibrant they were. And these are called Flare, and I love them. They're, everyone always comments, what's that orange one? And they're just, they're so vibrant. They really look like fire. After the tulips come out, we'll start planting the show garden, which will be a classic Victorian garden. And the theme's pretty general this year. I'm, I'm calling it 151. This is the first year of the next 150 years. So we're doing a lot of classic, classic things and full beds of plants which in classic English Victorian style. And we're sorry you couldn't be here to join us in person to see all of these beautiful tulips, but we're excited for you to see the show garden. And thanks for joining us on this virtual tour. And we hope to see all of you soon.